Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Today we have a bit of a strange special video I think. Um, and b before I start talking about this, this Orchid, uh, normally I would do this on my um, repotting table inside of my Orchid room, which is uh, through the door, as you may know. But um, as you also may know, we are uh, uh, renovating and uh, remodeling the house for the last few weeks now. Um, so, and I'm uh, I was in the mood for uh, have to have some coffee <laughs> as well as my husband, but uh, our coffee maker is now also inside the, the orchid room, and it's uh, preparing the coffee, so it <laughs> makes some noise. Uh, seriously, guys, I'm a bit tired because it's a sort of survival of the fittest <laughs> in our own home. It's crazy, but anyhow, it's going to be better one day, I know. We are, um, I think, about three weeks and we pro almost done by then, I think, remodeling the home. So yeah, everything should be uh, back to normal uh, from uh, then on. But for now, yeah, so I have to deal with, <laughs> with some uh, extras, extras during, the, day, uh, during the, the way and during filming. But anyhow, this is, um, <laughs> yeah, that was quite a funny introduction, isn't it? Um, this is my Odontia Iris Mist. So it's not the uh, Oncidium Iris Mist, but the Odontia Iris Mist. The yellow with a red bloom. a beautiful plant. Maybe you already noticed what I'm going to talk about <laughs> in this video. Um, I don't remember who it was, and it was a while back, but I did have a question about what to do with um, climbing orchids. Well, I had a solution there, and I, if I don't forget, I will uh, link that video, if I, I, I remember. But it, uh, basically what I do is I pot my uh, orchids in an angle in a pot. I put pebbles around the old bulb, so they don't... Uh, uh, stay that moist and I uh, like I said I have it angled in a pot so the new roots can go inside the media from here Okay, that's normally what I do, but you may have noticed this already. This is sort of the rhizome and Here is the new growth So let's see it from a distance so that's quite the end of the media. This one is uh, the plant is laying because of the, uh, also uh, positioned in an angle. It's almost laying that way because of the uh, after the flower spike when it's bloomed, it was uh, top heavy and it did uh, take this position. And I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna know. I, I just want to know where the new growth is coming from, and we'll get it from there. But. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do this. Maybe I can bend it a little bit backwards, but then, as you can see, it's more that the uh, new growth will go upwards instead of going uh, getting closer to the media. At this point, I seriously have no idea how to approach this, because this is... If I really, really wanted to have it close to the media, I probably would have put the arcade more hor horizontal than it already is. In maybe a bigger pot and that's it but I don't want to do that because it will take up as you can see quite some space and I don't like uh, the look of it uh, one of my Miltonias or two of Miltonias my Miltonias are doing it currently but I try to fix it because I want to them, them to uh, be up right a little bit more so what I will do now I will take off the leaves these two leaves because we have new roots already there were even more than I thought and I hope, I can only hope from this stage that my humidity is uh, high enough to let those roots grow into the media. That's the plan for now. Maybe you have a suggestion, but I, I really... On the other hand, I'm a bit curious to see what this will, will, will do. Because I was also thinking that I may have a solution now, but what if this plant does, uh, this new growth does the same? It was gets very big and then we have another new growth right about here I have no idea so I do not have my uh, tripod here so I will take off the leaves uh, quickly and then we will um, visit this orchid again yeah, before we're going to look at uh, the plant without those leaves I just wanted to show you I just split it up in two parts and then with two hands normally 
I split it all the way up to the base and then I grab one piece and I pull it off but once again I don't have my pri tripod here so I cannot show it but that's basically what I'm doing in this case I really watch that um, new root, the tip of new root so I don't pull that way I pull away from the root so that one uh, will not, that new root will not break so and this is the last leaf that I just took off so you can see I split it in two and then I just pull off one half of the leaf and then the uh, the other half and so far so good you can see it's still attached I'm just gonna let it fall on the ground but it did go well I'm sorry you can see here we have a beautiful root and if I have it positions like this it's not that far off the media so oh, maybe I should take off this as well because you can see the roots are climbing over it so they are hanging uh, um, away from the pot too much I want them there I have an actually new growing tip facing that, that direction but yeah let's, uh, let's take off this uh, old leaf as well and there we are again so I took off but this is very attached so I leave it here it's not in the way but now if we have more roots coming new roots I'm sorry here we are they hopefully will find their way into the pot I'm not sure I think I think this might might be working but like I said I'm not sure at all so I think this is a funny project and if this doesn't work or maybe next year it has another growth I may want to give this plant away for somebody who likes to mount it and give it a try on a mount I'm not a person that likes to grow rocks on a mount don't get me wrong I, I really like the look of it but it's not fitting my life my lifestyle because I uh, I'm not always in the I have the time to water my uh, plants especially uh, mounts as often as, the, as we should so therefore I really enjoy uh, self-watering it really helps me out but anyhow maybe I'm but I really really love it so I really try to find a solution for this problem and I like these little puzzles I must admit so I'm not intending to give this away but if I would give this one away I would try to find one that probably doesn't climb as much sometimes you are lucky you can find a plant the same plant that doesn't climb as much but most of the times it's just in the plant so the other varieties the brothers and sisters <laughs> will do the same thing sometimes but not always so who knows but um, yeah this is it for now just one we have one last look we have beautiful roots so who knows who knows uh, if you have any uh, suggestions please let me know I like to be prepared for the next time or maybe change it but I think this is the best setup for now I'm also curious to see because I have quite a nice humidity in my uh, my greenhouse in my orchid room so probably the roots will find its way as well and who knows it will be a strange looking plant but I like to have strange things sometimes so uh, why not uh, make this a little project and see how this plant will develop and uh, develop and uh, yeah go from there so this is it for now I apologize normally I have uh, uh, like taking off the leaves more in screen oh yeah that was a, I, uh, when I had a camera shut down for a minute I thought I if you really want to um, know how I uh, uh, did that I have some Miltonias who need the same treatment very soon and I will do that when I have my uh, tripod around and not making coffee in my orchid room <laughs> I will show it definitely how I do that because they need preparing uh, quite quickly so I will be back with a sort of similar video and then we will have everything on camera on film okay this is it for now thank you for watching and uh, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye